Reviewers. This is technically a Tuesday review, but uh, I picked up a bottle of um, New Brewery Green Flash here, Hit Minnesota. I, you may have seen my Green Bullet review, but I picked up another one of their beers, and I'm going to continue the theme of stouts. And today I picked up Double Stout, just one bottle. It's listed as a black ale, clocking in at 8.8% alcohol by volume. A little bit of research I did on it talked about uh, brewing with gold naked oats and different dark malts. Um, but I'm just getting into this one here. Nice, uh, robust, stout like pour, if you will. Um, wow, look at how dark that head is. That's nice looking. Really tight lacing, little bit of alcohol legs on the side of the glass. Overall, nice looking black ale or double stout, which is it? Green Flash, you haven't wobbed me yet, so let's see what you got. Yeah, huge, robust uh, character. Ton of those dark roasted malts. Uh, it's it's it's. Uh, there's almost like some char in there, but uh, overall, I'm getting like very very deep dark roasted malt. A uh, little bit of espresso. Splash of like. Deep, dark cacao. Faint hint of alcohol overall. Smells nice, smells like a stout. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. I love trying beers I've never had on camera. Yeah, immediately lots of that roast character. Overwhelming amounts actually. Um, to the point where that's all I get. I mean, there's, there's subtle hints of chocolate and caramel maybe. A little bit of espresso. Overall, it's roast and then there's that cloying, like, metal character. Nice bitterness from the hops coming through. I do like that. I do like a hoppy imperial stout. Mouthfeel is medium to full. I do enjoy that. Overall, though, this beer gets an 80 out of 100 for me. It uh, Discernibly, it is, like it says, big, bold, and complex. I'll give it big and bold. Um, you don't taste the alcohol. You do get a, just a resounding and overwhelming amount of bitterness from the malts and the hops, and it really leaves a lot to be desired on the other flavored end. I do like that Green Flash puts a Best Buy date, which is 8.30 or 14. I am actually going to pick up another bottle and let it sit until that time and have it on my birthday. But uh, overall, yeah, 80 out of 100 I think is a reasonable score. I, I, I don't see the hype yet behind this brewery. So, I've got a few other, other beers hiding away. I've got West Coast IPA, Hophead Red, and one other I'd like to review on the channel from the Minnesota distribution. And there are a couple other ones that are in Wisconsin currently that hopefully I can get my hands on. But, uh, yeah, this isn't something I would uh, rush to seek out. Um, I believe there is a barrel-aged stout that they do, and I, I would like to try that. But, for me, I can't recommend this beer, so... Well, let's hope we strike gold in another Imperial Stout review, guys. Cheers, and always remember to respect beer. Thanks for stopping by.